Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 20 for Wednesday, November 5th, 2014. Food is good. Hello and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. So some pretty big holidays are right around the corner, which I can hardly believe because what? Thanksgiving and Christmas already? I can never... Ugh, it just kind of blows my mind. After uh, after I had a minor but all too familiar freak out about how fast time flies, I realized that the upcoming holiday block is the perfect time for great food. Whether you fashion yourself merely a connoisseur of yumminess or a chef de jour, there are a ton of apps in the Play Store that cater to your cravings. Thought I'd take a look at these this week and you know take a look at a few of them that approach delicious dishes from different perspectives. So with that said. Let's take a look at a roundup of apps that will make sure you eat nothing but good food. First up is an app that not only gives you ideas for recipes that you might want to try, but also helps organize and manage the food you've made, food you've eaten, and restaurants you've visited in the past. Evernote Food is a separate app from the popular Evernote app, one that I use pretty much daily to organize my own thoughts. Evernote Food taps into your Evernote account, so if you already have an Evernote account, you'll be able to select a notebook inside which to store your food-related clips from Evernote Food. I created a food notebook inside Evernote and selected that. The app is split into four distinct sections. First, you can explore recipes, bringing up a nice cards-based view of some of the recipes that Evernote Food has aggregated. These are all attached to their own parent sites, so clicking on any recipe actually takes you to the site from within Evernote Food's browser. If you like the recipe, just tap this Evernote icon in the top right corner and it's clipped and saved for later reference. The My Cookbook section is where you're going to find all of those clipped recipes for later use. Next is the Restaurants tab, which explores the area around you and surfaces some new places for you to check out. You're given a rating that's pulled from Foursquare to get a sense as to the quality of the restaurant. And tapping into any restaurant gives you anything you might need to know about the place. The phone number, location, a map a listing of any meals you've eaten there in the past, which we'll explore more in a second. But down here at the bottom, tap the menu button and you'll see what kind of food you can expect when you arrive. If a restaurant supports open table reservations, you'll see this button that allows you to book a table right there from the app. It's very convenient. Finally, there's My Meals, where you can enter the food that you eat and remember those meals forever and ever. This carnitas burrito from Mi Pueblo was, well, fantastic as usual, and you can see pictures of my meal, where I got it from, and when. It's a food documentarian's dream app, and it extends the power of Evernote in delicious ways. Evernote food can be found for free in the Play Store. Next up is a service that brings a little social to the recipe mix. Up until last month, it was well known as All the Cooks, but was recently bought by CookPad, and as such, has been rebranded to CookPad Recipes. Thankfully, all the awesome functionality and delicious recipes are still in full effect, so let's take a look. The power of CookPad is the social element to the service. You can create an account and you're encouraged to enter in a recipe of your own. The app actually walks you through the process step by step from taking a cover photo to listing the ingredients, a category to make finding it easier, all of the directions step by step, and finally, a promotional review that helps you to bring your own personal touch to the recipe. The process practically ensures that the recipes found inside the app are going to be thorough and engaging. Scrolling through home gives you an endless supply of yummy photographs of dishes that you'll probably want to check out. You can tap in and you'll see some material design touches in the app and more importantly, all the information that you'll need to replicate that yummy cover photo dish. You're given some handy tools as well. Shop brings you a checklist that allows you to easily piece together your shopping list for that dish. 
Plan is a weekly planner that you can use to manage all of the meals you're going to enjoy throughout the week. That planner can get incredibly thorough if you like. Just look at the number of meal options that you're given. And then, of course, later you can go to Meal Planner from the sidebar and see which meal is coming up and when, instead of searching for all those awesome dishes as the week progresses. Now, back to the recipe page, you can use a conversion tool inside the app if you want to change up the measurement system used. And if it's given, you'll see nutritional facts for the meal. The more you know. Anyone who has made the recipe is welcome to take a picture of the finished product and add it to the recipe as a cook snap. There are user reviews, a question section for answering something that might not have been covered inside the recipe, and personal notes that you can make for your own preparation in the future. You can also search for recipes by ingredient or by category. So typing in slow cooker, for example, gives me a ton of options as well as a top contributor of the week to that section. That way I can follow them for future recipes. Cookpad recipes is incredibly thorough and thanks to the material design splashes, it looks modern and fresh. Not to mention it has Android Wear support as well. And really, I've only scratched the surface. So if you feel your stomach grumbling, head on over to the Play Store and grab Cookpad recipes for free. Finally, all this food is fine and good, but well, it's also work. And especially if you don't enjoy cooking or it's been a long day and you're extremely lazy, that's about the time the words takeout or delivery enter the picture. So when you're so lazy you can't possibly muster up the energy to make yourself dinner, why not be even too lazy to call a restaurant to place an order and instead use your phone or tablet and use the app called Eat24. We actually reviewed this app way back on episode 126 of All About Android. By logging into your Google Plus account, you're given the chance to store your address to the service. And by the way, Google Wallet integration is in tow as well, which is a nice bonus. But now that Eat24 knows where you live, you can use it to find some awesome restaurant food that matches your craving. Tap Pick It Up and you're presented with a list of restaurants that work with Eat24. Tap into any one of these options to see a list of the dishes you can choose from. It's a pretty straightforward point of sale entry, so tapping an item then prompts you to select how many you want, how spicy you want it, and any special info to pass along. You also see how many people have ordered this dish, so you can gauge popularity, which can be good if it's a restaurant you've never explored before. Add it to your hungry shopping cart and continue on. With Yelp integration, you can glean even more info about that restaurant, including all of those user reviews that Yelp is known for. If instead you want delivery, just tap Get Delivery from the front screen and pick your restaurant and items accordingly. Some entries even have a ton of photos to get you salivating. You can store your payment methods inside the app, which should cut down on the time it takes to get that food in your belly the next time. And finally, when you're having any problems with an order, there is an in-app chat that allows you to get someone on the case for you right away. The app is called Eat24, and it's for free in the Play Store. All right, there you have it. I have to say that the Android Wear implementation in Cookpad Recipes is an incredible example of the power of wearable computing. Sure, there's all the notifications that you get with the Android Wear platform, and depending on who you ask, that's either incredibly useful or completely redundant. But having the recipes appear on your wrist with swipeable step-by-step -step instructions is a dream in the kitchen. I'm always stumbling around trying to find my place in a recipe, you know, that's posted up somewhere, like on the fridge or the stovetop, and looking at my wrist... It's just a better way to go all around. Now, I know I've missed some great foodie apps. I had to cut down my list to only three this week, so I have more in the pipeline. But if you have a favorite, please email me at arena at twit.tv, and I'll be sure to include those on an upcoming episode. All right, finally, I've given you tools to discover a sea of recipes, but... You're going to need some awesome dinner music to play while you eat, too. So how about a service that hinges on discovering new music in this week's Hot to Trot? Now, this week, I'm taking a look at an app for a service that I've had a years-long crush on as a music discovery tool. The site called
called Hype Machine, finally created an official app, and it's an excellent way to stay current and ahead of the trends when it comes to exploring new music. So first, what is Hype Machine? It's a site that started nine years ago that aggregates music from an impressive list of music blogs from around the world. Music bloggers are a passionate bunch and are often given new singles, unreleased tracks, and full demos from both signed and unsigned artists for promotion. These bloggers spend their time sifting through these tracks and posting about the ones they consider to be the cream of the crop within their genre of focus. Hype Machine scours all of those blogs, more than 620 of them, and then presents those music files in a categorized way, making it easy to hop in and discover new new music fast. There's a built-in player that actively caches the next track while you listen and crossfades between them when you skip ahead or when it reaches the end. You can shop for the track while the song plays and tapping this icon takes you through to the originating music blog, which means you can also discover some pretty awesome music blogs in the process. While playing a list of tracks, tapping this 30 second button puts the player in a preview mode that is perfect for music discovery. You set that and listen to a short clip from each song. Take some of the manual effort out of discovery so you can set it, forget it, and once a track really grabs you, take it out of that mode and favorite the track. There are plenty of ways to go rogue on your own searching through the gigantic list of genres, or you can simply listen to the tracks that are most popular with other Hype Machine users. If you're ready to discover new music for yourself, check out Hype Machine. It's $3.99 in the Play Store right now. All right, that is it. Man, I love Hype Machine. It's such a great resource. And uh, they the way that they integrate the music into the player, it seems seamless, like it's coming from one service. But really, it's pulling this music from, like I said, more than 600 different blogs. So it's really an impressive uh, way to discover new music. So I hope you'll check it out. Thank you for joining me this week. I really hope I've given you some fuel to supercharge your Android device. I always love hearing from you. So please send your favorite apps, categories, whatever you got, to arena at twit.tv. There's also a subreddit where I post categories from time to time asking that you add your favorite apps or vote up the ones that you see posted there already. And that can be found at androidapparena.reddit.com. You can also follow me on Google Plus or search for the Android App Arena community there. I frequently put out a call for great apps in particular categories from my own personal Google Plus account. So, uh, you know, a little bit more informal that way, but uh, I do it from time to time. So uh, search for me there. I host a live viewing party of each week's episode every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Tonight. So why not stop by? I'll be on set to answer any questions you might have about the apps in the show or Android in general. That's at live.twit.tv. And of course, if you miss the live taping, each week's episode will always appear later that evening on the site and in the feeds. And you can find all that information by visiting twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena. Yeah.